Hey everybody, it's Terry over here at Hidden Hollow Loft. Today is a good day. I spent all this morning cleaning out my loft, put a bunch of new uh, the wood pellets on the floor to help with the cleaning up the pigeon crap. I don't have to scrape the floor as much. I can more so just sweep it up. And what I've been noticing is as, as it gets dirty, before it breaks down too much, if I take it and put it in my wheelbarrow and take it over from my burn pit, it, it burns pretty well and that works out pretty well for me because it's kind of hard to dispose of a lot of this stuff what do you do when you take and clean your loft what do you do with all the pigeon droppings I was throwing in my garden but after a while it begins to be too much as for the mask you know with this coronavirus going on you have to be able to protect yourself and your birds and they're all outside except for my new ones and since this is just a joke just kidding about this when I was cleaning out the loft, because I messed up my breathing a while back, like last year, I had to cover up my face so I could sweep up in here and clean it up real well and everything. But I went on Craigslist the other day and I found a lady in Boonesboro, Boonesboro Maryland who had white humming pigeons and I contacted her and we made a deal. And today, this morning at eight o'clock, I was picking up 25 solid white hummer pigeons so what i'm going to plan to do now is she put them in boxes boxes and i got five of these boxes then each box is five solid white hummer pigeons and what we're going to do right now is we're going to unbox after we unbox we're going to take them individually and put them in my hidden hollow carry box and then i'm going to put some plastic leg bands on them which is numbered which I've already written the numbers down so I can kind of keep track some of them are banded from what she said and some are not most of them are young um, I guess this year's birds earlier this year and she said most of them haven't flown what I noticed is like I had 24 birds not all of them were let's put it this way I had 24 birds a lot of them had been rehomed from a guy that I got them from last year. Some flew away when I tried to rehome, some didn't. And then we had babies. So luckily, I have 24 pigeons outside on the roof right now that had been, a lot of them had been rehomed. They've been taken out and flown. They've all came back. And I've got young ones as well. I had my buddy Daryl gave me some solid white pigeons earlier this year. And to tell you the truth, I had them out there flying one day. There was a big group of 12. I was out cutting the grass and I was watching them fly around the house and they never came home. And they'd flown a lot of times before then. So I didn't have any whites left over, but he did give me a couple whites that were mixed with like blue bars, blue checks, something like that. And they were white with some blue in them. And they actually had babies. So I had two of those. And now I got two young ones that are from them as well. And they're up on top of the house right or on top of the loft right now as well. And a lot of blue bars, blue checks, and he recently gave me, I guess, a red bar, beautiful red bar, and so I already had another one. It might even be a pair, but like I said, they're outside. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open these boxes, and take these birds out one at a time, and put them in my carry box. And then, like I said, I'm going to pull them out, I'm going to throw a leg band on them, one of these plastic snap bands. The little plastic snap bands. I have 20 white ones and five black ones. And we're gonna start from there. Let's get started. You'll see what I see, because I have yet to see them either. There's number one. You see young birds. No band. No band at all. Kind of gentle. Not real flighty, I guess that's a good thing. Oh, this one's heavy. Nice solid bird. They're not real flighty. This one has no band either. Beautiful white. Like I said, there's five in each box. I'm trying to let them get loose while I'm trying to pull them out of these boxes. Number three, there's no leg band on this one either. She said some of them were banded, some aren't. 
Dirty tail. Four and five. These are beautiful, healthy looking birds. What do you think? Come on the box. That's five. white birds again since I've been trying to start that release business again is uh I want to start doing free pigeon releases at veterans funerals I think they'd be really nice This box is kind of flighty. Beautiful birds. Still no bands. A lot of people can hold these birds a little better than I can. I have really big hands. It's kind of hard to sometimes for me. It's got a number got a year, but to tell you the truth, I don't have my glasses on. I can't read what it says. But we do have a band. She said this band a lot of this year. She uh uses these birds for a release business as well. But she said it was just too many of them. She really had to start downsizing. And lucky me, there's another band right there. Another band. Yeah, I'm really excited getting back into these birds. Really excited. Y'all have watched me. You remember a while back, I lost about every bird I had. I lost about every bird I had due to that disease. But I believe it was because I'm just gonna, I believe it was because I had a rat. Had rats that got into my part of my loft. See, the back side of my loft at one time had a uh, drywall all on the walls. And I couldn't tell that they'd gotten in through the floor and were living behind the drywall. Then they started to come through the drywall and getting in the nest boxes where I was feeding water and them all individually. And that's where it started. They were getting in the water. They were drinking out of the water because the pigeons were drinking out of it. When I found out that, I really went to town. I tore everything apart. I burned everything, I bleached everything two different times in here, and that's where I hurt my lungs. I believe it was from the bleach. And uh, there's a spot on my lungs, that's what my the specialist said when I went to go to the doctor. So I've been real careful. This is a really young one right here. Young little guy. Hmm. So... It is what it is. I don't know if it but it'll be alright. I'll fatten them up. <clears throat> no. I 
I've seen a lot of channels I watch get really political lately. And you kind of got to sometimes just to express yourself with everything that's going on today with the, the vaccine mandate. I don't know how y'all feel about it. If y'all have gotten your vaccine, personally, I haven't gotten my vaccine. I'm kind of afraid to. My brother, after he got the second shot, he's been really sick ever since. He's been in the hospital twice. I know that's what it was. I know a lot of people have gotten sick. I know people have actually died after getting the vaccines. What do you say? Do you believe it? Uh -huh. I know that I'm not going to get the vaccine. I think it's that bad. To me, Corona, unless you have a lot of, uh, like, debilitating, debilitating, debilitating illnesses, I don't think it really matters. It's like having a common cold. Luckily, the flu is almost non-existent, as well as the common cold. So coronavirus not only killing people, but it's killing out all kinds of illnesses that we used to have. So, you know, you get hit by a car, or by a truck, stuff like that. Yeah, coronavirus stopped all that. See, like more. I'm at the counter. There's another band. Try to get your heads in there. It's kind of crowded in there, and it? it won't be there long. Oh, that's real nice. Look what I got. So you've been noticing. I spent a lot of time this year building mini bikes, fixing my boat. I just got back from Ocean City, went on a trip with my truck, with my cousin. To a hot rod run. I was going on Ocean City, Maryland. Doing a lot of neat things, you know, trying to stay busy. The birds haven't been really big into it, haven't been watching a lot of videos. I did pull a couple up today, and all of a sudden on my YouTube, when I go home, get all those different channels, a lot more pigeons shows are starting to pop up. And I'm going to try to do this a little bit different this year. I'm going to try to do it like I first started doing it the training and the health and the feeding and get them right. You know what I mean? I see a lot of guys, you guys do real well and you've got the racing going on. I'm not gonna race, but I will. I will raise these whites. And I will do the release business for weddings and funerals. I'm trying to keep this sport alive in my mind. I almost gave up. I got down where I have, I have like 24 pigeons outside right now. I almost gave up. I'm gonna do it right here. I'm going to be doing, probably moving some of these to another loft I have. I'm going to start breeding, but uh, probably keep the whites in here because that's where I'm mainly going with this whole thing. So i got a big cage full of white pigeons right here. Huh, that's what i got going on today. Like I said, I'm going to go pull these pigeons out one at a time and put these leg bands on them and let them go. i got water in here. I've been... I've been here cleaning up today. I added a little ledge right here for my trap. I put a board with legs on a little table over top of my waters so that they can't sit up on top of the waters anymore and, you know what I mean, mess up the water. My feeder's good. I'm gonna get some more of these plastic perches. I gave some to my buddy Daryl. It left me kind of kind of low on, a, on quantity right now. And that's what I'm going to do. I appreciate the comments, Don, and even uh, Rocky Ridge, Kennel, and Law. You know we have German Shepherds. That's a whole nother deal. I thought about changing the name to Hidden Hollow Loft and Kennels because of Rocky Ridge, but I didn't, and I'm probably not going to. But we got some really beautiful German Shepherds. And as we have puppies, I'll be posting that too just as well. And if you seem like you want one, it works something out, you know what I mean? We're going to have them, everything from unregistered German Shepherds to some really, really nice, I don't say high dollar German show line, long hairs, beautiful dogs. I think I showed some in my last video. But anyway, you know, my new job keeps me busy. I work 12-hour days, but 
I work three hours, I work three days one week, I work four days another. And I, you know, because I get I get paid every two weeks, and it really works out nice. And I really enjoy the time off. Like I'm off today, I'm off tomorrow. I go back in Thursday and Friday, then I'm off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And it gives me a whole lot more time at home. It gives me more time to do stuff for the wife in the house. More time to try to get my yard straight. It's a disaster. And I've got so many projects going in so many different directions. I'm really going to try to set my priorities. You know, we were going to sell the house. We were going to move. But now she's like, well, let's just fix this up the way we want it properly. And which means I'm going to be running power into my shop, which is you see the, through the window, that building out there, that's my shop. And then I'm going to run power into here. I'm going to have electric. I'm going to have lights, which I have lights now running off a extension cord. I'm going to do it right. And so that's about it. So I don't want to bore you with all this process of pulling each bird out, put the leg bands on because it's going to take a lot of time. I'm already 16, over 16 minutes into this video. But I appreciate you watching. I'll have another channel. It's called Total Mayhem Adventures. It's going to be a hunting and fishing channel. And anything crazy I might get into. I've only got a few subscribers. But if you go on there, I'd appreciate if you subscribe. Because it's going to be fun. I had some videos that I was downloading on it. But my computer crashed. So I lost them. But I have a few others. And I'm really trying to learn how to edit. And when I do, the content and the quality is going to step up. And I know I've been talking about learning to edit for a long time. <sighs> I'm computer illiterate, but I appreciate y'all standing by and supporting the channel and you guys are the best. So with that, I'm going to say farewell. Y'all have a great day and see you soon.